series of non-stop comedy with the copycats. Last year when we were in Spain, Diana and I we were going on a walkabout. Walking about and round about. <laughs> uh, Diana fainted. I didn't bring her round with smelling salts. I just waved a new dress under her nose. <laughs> I went to Italy the other week there to get away from that Scunner Campbell, what a horrible man he is. Oh, yeah. And I come back, I was shocked. I said to my next door neighbour, I said, I can't believe it, these Italians were pinching my bottom. She said, but if you go to Italy, you've got to expect to get your bottom pinched. I said, aye, but no a pair of pliers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr Armstrong, You've been fined guilty of parking on double yellow lines. <laughs> you'll be taken from this place and put into prison. Where you'll be mentally and physically tortured. <laughs> then, after three weeks, you'll be taken and hanged by the neck until you are dead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Monique's the best son a mother could have. He really is. He's just misunderstood, that's all. He was expelled from the Open University for playing truant. <laughs> <laughs> he kept sending in empty envelopes. <laughs> Gentlemen, there's no more. <laughs> a lot of people laugh at Crossroads, but we work very hard at making that show. It's shown all over the world, including Russia. <laughs> I use it as an alternative whenever Siberia's full. <laughs> Oh, good evening, Starfakers. Mm. <laughs> and welcome to the show. Mm. And tonight, it's Opportunity Knocks with a difference. All the acts are over 15. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, on Bob's Sporting Up Knocks, this fellow hopes to knock you out. Hi, I'm Frank Bruno, <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to coming on the show. I'll be travelling to the studio as soon as I've had me breakfast. <laughs> As if I had a kid. <laughs> they spot the dummy, as Bob says, opportunity knocks for Frank Brun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Frank Bruno, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, thank God, you know. I just thank God, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, thank God, you know. I just thank God, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just wish I could say something else, you know? <laughs> anyway, this is my friend, Derry. <laughs> say hello, Harry. <laughs> hello, Harry. <laughs> oh, Kenny, let me out, let me out. Steady, Harry, steady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady, Harry. Show me the phone, Harry. Show me the phone. Look, show the ladies and gentlemen how you can say the alphabet while drinking a glass of water. <laughs> I don't think you can do it. I can, Harry. I can. Look, watch. Ready? 
I B C D E F G. No, Harry, it was only the Avon lady now. Settle down. <laughs> right. Settle down. Right, I've got a new tactic to help me win my next fight, right? I want you to put my belt round my forehead. Your belt round your forehead? Why? You know the rules. No punching below the belt. Yeah. <laughs> some nursery rhymes. I hope you like them. Mary had a woolly dress. I know how she got it. Mary had a little lamb. She took it out and shot it. <laughs> uh, next up tonight is Wimbledon tennis champion. Wimbledon, it's like the story of my life. Rows and rows of women going... <laughs> hmm. This lady hopes to raise a racket tonight. Hi, I'm Martina, and this is me in the kitchen at home. Just in case I don't make it in show business, I'm continuing to improve my tennis. Already I can swear in seven different languages. One day I'd like to have children, but today I'm having spaghetti bolognese. Pop says, opportunity knocks for the lady who's game, set, and has no match. Martina Navratilo. Martina. <laughs> yeah, a funny thing happened to me on the way from Prague. I was about to get on a bus. I said, do you take checks? He said, no, walk. <laughs> well, now I'm gonna do some sporting impressions. First of all, sugar. One of my favorite cricket players. Ian Bolton. Great English footballer. Bobby Charlton. <laughs> Bobby Charlton taking a corner. Thank you. to my hotel yesterday and walked into the bar and I went ah! it was a steel bar <laughs> I said to the lady behind the reception I'm the man with no name any messages no but people have been very cruel 
about my marriage to Andrew Lloyd Webber. They said it was a shrewd career move. That's nonsense. Andrew would have made it, whoever he married. <laughs> oh, gosh. We had a fantastic wedding. Everybody got very excited and people threw rice at us. Poor old Tim got most upset. <laughs> <laughs> Cause the name <laughs> Jackal's the name <laughs> is a lady I so admire To me she is the boss And when I die, which is highly unlikely I'm gonna come back as dying the rock <laughs> I'm gonna fill a house with pets I don't see what's wrong with that Jackal's the name. No. Oh. Uh, oh, you know, I was wondering if maybe my nose could go around here the next time. And my mouth down here. Yeah, be easier than that. Oh. of this number, it could lead you to a fabulous £50,000 prize only in the people this Sunday. Ring this number now for the first clue, 0898 991 345. Then see the people this Sunday for all the exciting details. Remember, you can win £50,000 and make your dreams come true. Buy the car you've always wanted, enjoy wonderful holidays, pay off your mortgage. It's the contest you can't afford to miss. Ring this number now, 0898 991 345, and buy the people tomorrow. To be. What was the question? <laughs> you know, Jerry, Jerry hates me going into town. He thinks I get picked up by men in bars. Uh, I do. Uh, usually by the barman when I fall off the stool. <laughs> Show business for 25 years Success comes to one who wins First there was surprise, surprise And then there was blind date I've had a Laura, Laura request From Inverness to Worthing And all of them are saying Dear Scylla, please don't sing But I sing at the front and I sing at the back I sing for Bobby and Robert and Ben I'll sing with my soft voice that sounds like a witch Then I'll sing with my hard voice that makes people cringe <laughs> I have had my teeth fixed And it really cost a pocket 
But I'm the only girl who can eat an apple through a tennis racket. <laughs> I've sat at home for years, but the telephone didn't ring. Then Wogan asked me on his show, but said, Silla, please don't sing. <laughs> but it doesn't take much to get me to start. Step inside or anyone who I don't know. I sing with my soft voice and look all the long. And suddenly I sound just like a bog horn. <laughs> surprise, surprise. What's it all about? I'll be red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue. Oh, you are a monkey kid. <laughs> Enter. Herr Flick, you sent for me? Yeah. It is amazing what you can order through the post. <laughs> Sit down, Helga. Prepare yourself for debriefing. Ooh. Shall I lock the door? Right. <laughs> Tonight, I want you to go down to Rennie's bar. I have reason to believe that the fool is hiding the true British airmen. What makes you think so? The Spitfire has been parked outside his cafe for a month. <laughs> Mingle with the customers and find out which ones are the Britishers. They should be easy to spot. How have leak? Get the pianist to play God Save the Queen. I see. And the British will stand up when the tune starts? Nine. When the tune starts, the British will try to sneak out. <laughs> I will leave right away. Wait. We need more information. It may be necessary for you to join the underground. Oh, good. I've always wanted to say, mind the doors, please. <laughs> I refer to a large group of people known as a resistance. Are you familiar with them? A little, but I don't let things go too far. <laughs> I told you that tonight, Helga, you must go down to the park and leave 20,000 Deutschmarks in a hollow tree. Have you got it? Oh, yeah. But I'm having trouble finding the Dutch marks. <laughs> the last time you sent me to the park to meet someone, I waited for hours and hours. Then I heard this sound. Psst. Psst. Was it your contact? Nein. It is Renny letting the air out of my bicycle tires. <laughs> I hate the French and I hate the English. Why do you hate the English so? Because they bombed our chip shops. <laughs> Oh, 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 my beard on! I'm going a bottle of whiskey, you muggy. Two sorts of people really get up my nose. That's Jehovah's Witnesses and dumb old glazing salesmen. <laughs> but they got a new sort now. Jehovah's Double Glazers. <laughs> yeah. They tell you if you don't believe in God, your windows will drop out. <laughs> Good evening. As you may or may not know, we are... The management. And one of me have stepped in for the vicar what normally does this programme because he has disappeared. He has become a... Missing parson. <laughs> and what's more, Ron has confiscated his trousers, which makes him a... Nicholas parson. <laughs> Thank you.
Ron here comes from a broken home. Yeah, I broke out myself. <laughs> That's because my father was always in prison. Why, what did he do wrong? He do wrong, Ron. Ron, Ron. He do wrong, Ron. <laughs> he gave the congregation down at St Ron's a clear view of heaven. How did he do that? He nicked all the lead off the roof. <laughs> Ron will tell you we had a pastor once who didn't give freely to our cause. Yeah, so I poked his eyes out and threw it in a jug of milk. <laughs> Low fat. Well, it's pasteurised. <laughs> <laughs> so if any of you out there do not wish to contribute to our roof fund, we've got a bit of friendly advice. Ron here will come round your house... And rip your arm off, stuff it so far down your throat, you will be able to wave bye-bye through your belly button. <laughs> Yeah, we had to clean that one up. <laughs> so anyway, it's time to say good night now. We hope you will have a good night's sleep. Like what we do. Yeah, cos Ron and me are not afraid of ghosts, witches or bogeymen. Cos we've got little effigies. Speak for yourself, Ron. <laughs> I'm talking about voodoo, Ron. Voodoo, Ron. 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 Voodoo, Ron. 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 <laughs> no, I'll see you. It's me, Billy Conley, the Big Yin. Yo! <laughs> you know, I've got a lot of relations, and one of them lives in the Outer Hebrides. And if anybody's ever been there, it's like stepping five million years back in time, you know? And my uncle, who lives there, bought a television last week, and it wasn't working, so we called the man out. And the man said, of course it won't work. You haven't got an aerial on your roof. He said, what? You mean... <laughs> I've bought all this money on a television and I have to spend some more on buying a roof as well. <laughs> hey, hello, lovers. It's all different Carnation Street, eh? You know my Alf? My Alf? Well, ever since he had that attack, he's been trying to take things easy like, you know. The doctor told him that we should make love to the rhythm of church bells. <laughs> wow. Everything was going fine. And the burglar alarm went off. <laughs> it's me, Bummer Lancashire from Crossroads. I got my name during the war when I was in the RAF. And I got sent on a mission, a leaflet raid over Dusseldorf. And when I got back, the captain went mad. He said, where have you I've been? The others with back to weeks ago from dropping their leaflets. I said, dropping them? I've been shoving them through the litter boxes. Good evening. Please don't get up. After the general election, I threw a small dinner party for Neil Kinnock and David Owen. I was carving the turkey. I said to Neil, you speak for the left, so I'll carve you the left wing. I speak for the right, so I'll carve myself the right wing. At that point, David Owen got up. I said, where are you going? <laughs> he said, I've guessed what I'm having and I'm not hungry. <laughs> Hello, everybody, it's me. <laughs> Hello, being really alternative today, I went on the bus. <laughs> Hello, being really, really radical, I was smoking downstairs. <laughs> the female conductor was said to me, look, do you want to get me into trouble? I said, OK, what time do you finish work? <laughs> So I was going to ask you something. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> can you do any impressions, George? Yes, you did. I can do one. Uh, uh, who do you do? Uh, I do you. Uh, nothing like me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> another question for you. What do you get when you freeze water? <laughs> 
iced water. Uh, uh, what do you get when you freeze milk? Uh, iced milk. Uh, uh, what do you get when you freeze ink? Uh, iced ink. <laughs> <laughs> Another set of comedy impressions can be seen next Saturday at the same time, 6.45.